Good afternoon, students. I wanted to make a quick video that goes over the government budget with you. Uh, you should be able to find this in Chapter 10 if you were to do your reading. But because we had the snow day on Wednesday, we weren't able to go over this in depth. So I just wanted to add a couple minute video uh, just to kind of walk you through the steps of really understanding the basic government budget that I expect you to know for this class. So when we're talking about the budget when it comes to the government, you can think of it as a scale. And so if you kind of visualize this scale where we're weighing the inflows versus the outflows. Now obviously you can think of this as your own budget as well, uh, the amount of money you take in, the amount of money that you spend, and we're just gonna extend that to the government. So if we think of the money on the inflow side when it comes to the government, we're looking at taxes. That's the only thing that we're gonna talk about in this class on the inflow side, would be the taxes that the government uh, receives. On the outflows side of things, we have two things. We have G, which is the government purchases. So that's the amount of money that the government spends and they get uh, goods and services in return, uh, like military spending, roads, bridges, salaries of congressmen, anything where the government spends money and they get a good or service in return. That's why G, government purchases, is counted in our GDP. The second one is the second part of government spending, which is transfer payments. So that's the rest of the money that the government spends, and they're not getting any good or service in return. So that's why transfer payments are not included in our simple calculation of GDP. In our class, these are the only two components of government spending that we're going to focus on. And so on the outflow side of this government budget balancing is just government purchases, G, and transfer payments, TR. And so you can see if they're balanced, we're just gonna call that a balanced budget, meaning that total taxes T is equal to the sum of government purchases and transfer payments. As an equation, it's simply just T equals G plus TR. But that's not always the case, right? The, the budget is not always balanced. Sometimes we have taxes being greater than overall government spending, and we would say that we have a budget surplus. And so that would be if taxes were greater than G uh, plus TR. On the flip side, sometimes our overall inflows in the government can be less than the outflows, and so we could have taxes less than the sum of government purchases and transfer payments, and we would get a budget deficit if that was the case. So as an equation, that would be T being less than G plus TR. And if you wanted to find the size of the budget surplus or the budget deficit, you could simply look at what the difference of this inequality would be. If taxes are greater than government spending and transfer payments by say two trillion dollars, then we'd have a two trillion dollar budget surplus. If taxes were less than government purchases and transfer payments by say five trillion dollars, we could have a budget deficit of five trillion dollars. 